Mm, bro. Uh, this guy, this just guy knows he's on the wrong team, or? Hello? Hello? Hello, Gavna. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, Sir Maj? How you doing, man? It's good to see you. We're still, uh... Oh, I think they just won. Not this team, but Lions. Da, 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 da. It's gotta be cool. Oh, I'll find it later. Anyways. When are you gonna start coming back to the school, Sir Maj? You and Avery. Oh, we're getting started. Dude, I feel that. I played with Gravy earlier, and, uh... It was not fun at all. All right, so SAGU is on Alpha Team uh, right now. We are starting off with a uh, hard point. And let me get my bearings. Got Esteban taking Lamar Des. That's a good spot to take. Looks like SAGU is going to get flanked from. No wins over there. Still really good hold up. Like another setup. Don't know why Esmon's running. He's rotating early. Still got one left here on point. Looks like Country just trying to get the rotate around and get back without dying. Don't know about that dolphin dive though. God's falling right there. Oh, that's one just having the wrong timing. Country picking up some kills. Oh, that's a team wide excellent job by SAGU. Kenny getting a double kill. Coming out swinging. We got kills going on to the backside of point. Looks like the opposing team cannot get their way in. And we got early rotations to go back to the next point. People fall off the current. God's still cleaning up the mess here. Sure nobody gets a chance to get any extra points. Sagu doing an excellent job maintaining and holding this rotation. And we're already on next point. Got two people controlling it. Whole team's coming back. Coming from... Oh, nice. Kenny looking like he's dialed in. Skipper with eight kills right now. And only two deaths. Back, trying to get some flanks. Killing everyone. Watching carpet. 
Oh man. Looks like we're going around the back side. Already moving on rotations for next point. Skipper going ahead, trying to get there. This is a scary spot to speak. B, you sit there and you hear all the footsteps. Country getting saved by gods, coming in, and getting two, and some. Looks like they're gonna be going on ahead and moving something over here. Looking at Vel, 36, attack, cast off, and another cast off. Looks like we're going with some irregular weapons here. Might be contributing to some of the losses of gunfights, but uh, may or may not be you know, part of that. By the way, guys, for you being in the chat, thank you for joining up and watching this segment of the play. I'll look up real quick just to the other one is. That should have been my job earlier, but uh, we were rushing this, so. Jaden holding down reception. They have no idea what is going on. Finally dropping him. Country on the P4 desk. Getting the drop shot. Holding point still. Saku only dropping 35 seconds right now on hard points. Skipper not able to get the rotation. Looks like uh, the other team is going to be able to get there. We're facing NEC Blue. That is Northeastern uh, College Blue. Uh, looks like it's going to be an excellent match between them tonight. Sagu picking up some early leads here in Hardpoint. Loving to see how they work together. Uh, early rotations. Got one cup from the carpet. You guys hear me talk with the commentator and then a coach, it's because uh, the other's are you know, so uh, if you hear me roast my guys, it's because they're bad. God's getting the kill. Clean it up. You gotta watch from Carpet again. Look! Ah! Look around! And they lose control at that point. Kenny coming up in the back. That is Don't Run Now. We call him Kenny. It's kind of his name. Looks like he's still fighting for this point. 15 seconds left. And Sagu is starting to rotate around get out of the, the play and make sure they're getting into safety here. Kenny with the farthest rotation to come back in. Looking to make sure nobody's in mid. Country falling on the front. Clean pickup by Jaden. Kenny finally on point. Gets the nice corner. Oh, loses the 1v1. Jaden still picking it up. Esteban's got this point back in lockdown. That was rough. Even if Country sh should have killed him, he still pushed him into the line of sight of someone else. Love to see it. Excellent communication so far from the line. It looks like they are all removed off point. Still 25 seconds. Might be worth taking uh, just because it's so close to the current point. But you got setting up back on the Mar desk. Uh, Kenny looking like he's trying to go around just to be in a nuisance. Oh man, does not win that fight. That might be a little bit better. Here's what we can see later. Oh man, country caught lacking looking at the ceiling. getting some drop shots excellent kills the entire uh, NEC team is off point Esteban holding next point watching rotations from the other team Wow, Kenny came out of that alive. That's kind of wild. Just getting away from the 1v1 games, maybe. Uh, Grizzly Falls. Man, so much is happening right now. Zaku's just holding. 
very dominant control. Hotel is probably their best map. They actually beat the Lions team the other day in it in a scrim. So I think they're very confident in this and wanted to keep it there. Yeah. DC just not being able to get any ground against the Lions right now. Six seconds for a win. Three, two, one. And that goes down as a 1 0 victory for SAGU Purple against NEC Blue. Now, I don't have any fancy overlays or anything like that, but. Looking like God's getting the play of the game. Is this a 4K? This is. Oh my goodness. Excellent wipe. Look at those stats. 35 and 13 for God's country. 14 and 10. Uh, two minutes on point. That's that's a good amount. Excellent uh, movement and motivation for, for SAGU on this uh, hard point. Can't be upset about it at all. So um, that's fantastic. Tell me what you guys think. What were some of the, the highlights of that? Uh, got any questions for me as, as coach of SAGU? I'd be more than happy to answer those. Just tune in. I'm in the chat right now. I'm waiting. Surmise, you will absolutely be able to go to the arena. That's only if uh, that's only if you actually want to be uh, on esports. So uh, whenever you're ready for that, we'll be more than happy to do it. Also, rank ups and, and divisions are higher now for esports. So if you're coming in for uh, rah, yeah, we'll get the merch link out whenever we get the uh, the merch ready. It'll be coming soon. But um, ranks for, for Rocket League now, you have to be a Diamond 3 minimum to even get onto our gold team. And we're really looking for champs and moving stuff on that. Lidge, what is going on, man? Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you all coming in. Kato, being in the Skyward team is like being on the church softball team, all right? You didn't make varsity baseball, but you're on the church softball team. You get good high fives and everything, so. Hey, let's go. We got some Champ 1 players in here. If you guys want to go in and participate or be even a part of uh, Saggy Wii Sports in any way, uh, let us know and we'll get you a Discord link. We'll drop that in chat and get everything rolling. If you guys want to be a part of that, it's fantastic. Triple A rated ball chaser. Hey, that's a Champ 1 rated ball chaser. We take the woods. Yeah, Sermaj, it'd be like that. We don't we don't mess up with with stuff like this. You guys are t getting it all from me, and and I hold nothing back. They have some church softball teams. I'm not a part of any. My church doesn't have it. Um, granted, I don't have the time to play in it. We have 14 teams this season, so whatever 14 times eight is, you guys do that math. That's how many matches I have within eight weeks. So I try to be a part of all those as much as I can.
But hopefully soon, I will be able to start launching some of my own esports uh, leagues and, and doing stuff like that. Not just coaching, but but being able to organize competitions and, and handle stuff on that aspect. And it looks like we're jumping right into Search and Destroy here. Uh, it took a little bit, but sometimes communication is a little weird, so it's not a problem. Let us get rolling. Um, all right. Here we go. All right. There we go. All right. SHU is attacking on this first round. You got Skipper moving up. God's getting double teamed over in the back. Which means Skipper's most likely going to be playing. Unless they went low. He died right off the bat too. I don't even know what that was. Country fallen, getting flanked over by Grizzly. Here's the great thing. I'm extremely confident, and I'll probably regret this. I'm extremely confident about um, SAGU's to destroy games. <laughs> What was that? What even was that? That was fantastic. Excellent job by Skipper. But the reason being is that Skipper is just a search and destroy junkie. This is his game mode. It's the one thing that he wants to play. <laughs> and it's... Oh. If he didn't dolphin dive. He's, he's doing doing fantastic work. So the fact that he's able to take out three opponents in, in one round is... You know, says something about the efforts here. Um... We need to check on the legality of that gun. Actually, that's probably not a not a good thing. We might be seeing a pause here in a second. We have combat knife M13. Combat knife Vaznev. Vaznev. Okay. What is this guy running? Stop the for a second. Pass up. It's fine. The lockpick. That's also. Fine. I don't think the M13-1 uh, or M13-B is it, so we're going to have to check the legality on that. If you guys have seen that gun, you know it's ridiculous. Getting pieced up here. Kenny being the last alive, he has had a few clutch situations. Of and of course I see it, and it doesn't work. Looks like we do have confirmation that um, M13 is a banned weapon, so um, we will be seeing this match end here. This will most likely be a forfeit win for SAGU, uh, simply because the M13 is an illegal uh, weapon. So um, we'll see how this goes. Sometimes it's it's a little wild, but we do have the video evidence, so it's not a problem. If anyone can go back and clip that, actually, that'd be fantastic. Send that over to me, and we can submit that for proof. But, um, yeah. So that's Search and Destroy for you guys. Glad you had a great time watching that part. Um, Perry Dismore and the Guinness Book of World Records. What? What a legend. Imagine your pastor being in the Book of World Records. I really just imagine my pastor being in the Book of Life, you know, with my name there too. That's kind of what I endeavor for and, and hope and pray for and want to make sure that I get knocked out. But anyways, enough preaching on that. Let us see how this is transpiring. I'm going to open up the match chat and see if anyone is having any issues. Um, I don't know. Let me, because I'm running the role of Jesus and Judas pretty much coach and caster. Let me go double check, make sure everything's all right. Uh, we'll be back here in about 20 seconds.
All right, so we are clarifying to see whether it is a warning or a forfeit. Yeah, so dangerous. It's it's weird because there's certain guns that are banned, right? So obviously you have like the M13. It's pretty standard that hey, that's not that shouldn't be there. That's that's a DLC weapon first of all, and and you can tell the sound, fire rate, stuff like that. You can tell it's not good. It's not not allowed to happen. But what if you use like instead of the TAC 56, you switch it out for the TAC V and make it automatic? Okay, well now you're doing more damage with a gun that looks like the same one, and you can only tell if you're Codcaster and you can look at each side. So if you don't have Codcaster, if that guy doesn't get final kill, even in the kill feed, it looks like the same weapon as attack. There might be a minor difference, but you can't really, you know, figure it out from there. So that's kind of how you can get away with it. It's pretty frustrating to, to see if that is the case. Um, but for the most part, you can tell which ones are, are there. It's it's a ban ban. It's uh, because it's DLC. They, they just immediately got it. And so the league also runs off of GAs. So whether it's a GA or ban ban, the, the unanimous decision is, hey, this isn't going to be allowed. So that's that's kind of where it goes out uh, with that. So I think it's, I can pull up the rule book, but I kind of don't want to. I got people that are handling their own stuff. Let's see, is this the guidebook or the rule book? That's the guidebook. I don't want that. There we go. Okay. Pulling it up right now. Let's go to Call of Duty. All right. GAs or gentlemen's agreements are enforced. If GAs are violated, the reporting team must provide proof. Um, let me slide this over. Haha. <laughs> provide proof, and the team who did not follow the agreement will forfeit that game in the series. So this is a forfeit loss. This should be qualified as a forfeit loss. Um, Prohibited items, please use current league play restricted items list to determine what primary, secondary, attachments, tactical, lethal gear, field upgrades, perks, wild cards, and score streaks will not be permitted. That is essentially the GAs. Um, yeah, so uh, asking a good question. They're, they're banking on whether nobody's going to catch them slipping. Um, it, should, it, it should be an auto forfeit. Now... <laughs> I would say that there's a certain point in time where it's like, hey, you know, this is still new. But we're in week five. We're already halfway through the season. So either they've been playing teams that don't enforce the rules, which is frustrating because then everyone is, you know, not aware of, hey, this is how the game needs to be played. Or they're, they were just never caught. So if, if you know, the whole legality of everything could come into play, um, it could not, it could just be this one-time thing, or, or they subbed in someone, and for whatever reason, the sub doesn't know because it's his first game, or there's a whole span of different issues. I wouldn't ever like to think that anyone is uh, intentionally being malicious in that sense, um, but it is, uh, it is frustrating to see. And we have, the, the link is on there for the articles for where it should be, you know, where the GAs are and how it should go. Um, but yeah, it's it's just kind of a weird situation all around. Let's see. I'm just going to do some research because I'm curious. So two of, this, two of the games for uh, NEC have been forfeits. Uh, one was a forfeit win and one was a double forfeit loss. So both teams technically lost. Then they lost 3-2 and 0-3. So I kind of think that the situations that they were in for those matches may or may not have... Uh, Oh, that's close. That's a close loss. That one's not bad. Let's look at uh, Lycoming. Yeah, sometimes if you're, what what I've encountered is that if you're playing a game and and your the other team is doing something that's you know frustrating or not allowed or weird, then it can come into the idea that hey, we can just play through it and not do anything with it. You know, if it's not really going to affect us in a major way. Um, 
that I like to I like to have competition be equal on both sides and the fact that hey we're enforcing rules for everyone so it's not just a one person thing Dude, you're sending me your eagle powers? That's amazing. Hey, guys, we're going to be taking a small break here. Uh, we're going to handle this dispute, and um, I'll just let you know when we're back online. Thank you so much.
All it takes is a moment Is it faith that you came this far unbroken? If it's destiny, you wrote it Looks like we are back, and uh, someone just left the party, so that's probably going to cause an issue, too. But, anyways, we are moving and grooving on uh, this uh, match again. Uh, most likely, this will be starting as a 0-0 zero, zero Search and Destroy, so we're going to return to Search and Destroy on Fortress. Um, and then, yeah, that should, be, that should be where we're at. There shouldn't be any other issues with that, so... Uh, let's pick this back up and, and see what we can get going. And of course, I'm not in charge of when the matches start, so uh, hopefully we're not here for three hours. Yay! If you are watching, uh, send me a message in the chat. Let me know, you know, hey, you're here, you're alive, you're doing good. Um, I have posted back in Discord that we are back on and live in this match so if you're if you need to get plugged in there um, if there's anything that you want to talk about let me know we can go ahead and start reaching out to you that way too and I'll even send uh, our discord link in the chat and uh, we can get things going that way uh, where is it at where did it go hello da, 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 da. aha there it is it's very top I'm a goober copy 
boop, bop, pow. Oh, let's try that again. Pow. There we go. And they're waiting on me. Let's go ahead, get back into Codcaster, get this mug locked down and ready to roll. And we will be going back again, search and destroy at uh, Albagra Fortress. Um, and we're waiting on, we can restart, yep, okay. So we're just, we're going right into this. We've reached out to support and we're waiting on an answer for them too. But until that comes, the stream will go on. Alright, looks like Kenny has bomb. Um, they're waiting. We don't have the fourth member of the team here. And, uh, well. Ooh. Kenny? For those of you guys that don't know, I like our teams to rock the main weapons, uh, the Vaznev, the TAC-56. Kenny was out here running a hurricane, and um, yeah, we uh, kind of had some problems with that. But we are hopefully roaring and ready to go and still waiting on this team. Uh, they had one person disconnect, so I'm waiting to pick him back up. His, his uh, game most likely shut down, so we want to get that all back and, and good um but until then you guys have me again and uh let me see if i can actually make this a little better uh for you and um let's do that right there and uh Hey, there we go. We got some people joining back in. Um, let's just make sure Godcaster is selected. That way we don't have any issues. Turn that. Turn that. Thank you guys for again joining back. Uh, we are still trying to make sure everything is solved here. And everyone's joining in and not having any problems. Apparently, doing anything that is worth doing uh, is not going to happen today. You guys will be able to get to see my office here in a second. And my crazy face as I look towards our uh, other monitor for stream here and you know, I'll get roasted in chat, but it's it is what it is. Okay, so let's go turn that. Integrate camera. Um. Okay, still waiting on the other team to uh, switch to their roles respectively and there we go 
you got me back on here. Uh, let's try to move me out of the way of everything that will be happening. Map is in the bottom left. Let's see. Something like that. That should be okay. I'll have my guys come in and beat me up if it's not. So, um, okay, we're going for a full restart here. Uh, one, two, three, hopefully four. And... Just want to give a special shout out to uh, some of our viewers here who are consistently making sure they tune into all the Sagu Esports streams. Saw Lidge earlier, Kato, um, Swagner, Omelet. Omelet, the score right now is 1 0. SAG, you took over uh, Hardpoint in a very convincing fashion, and uh, we are now moving on to. Um, Search and destroy at Albagra Fortress. So, um, again, the teams are SAGU and NEC Blue, uh, so Northeastern College Blue. And um, we had a slight discrepancy uh, because one of the uh, other opponents was using the M13B, which is technically not an allowed gun. But um, we're just deciding to play on it and, and solve that issue afterwards if it needs to happen. And so once that situation gets settled, we will be... Uh, good to go. Let's see. Call of Duty rules in effect. So if I just go over. Okay. Oh. Hello. You're not allowed. Let's take you off then. What guns can I even pick? Assault rifles. And 13B. Well, the hemlock is banned, right? But the 13B should also be banned because it was also a um, DLC weapon. Uh, technically, you had to play DMZ to get it. So, I don't know. Don't know anything. I'm just a guy here talking. I'm not a coach of any sort or have any legal bounding or binding on any situations that happen. So, <sighs> still waiting on an answer from that. But maybe with any luck we can get this match started? Question mark. Got Wavy. We got Grizzly Jinx. John Wick. See the other guy. Unknown Anonymous. Hmm. Okay, relax, John Wick. Okay, well, I guess that might be his name. So, we're waiting on getting this match started. If you guys have anything to say, just type it in the chat. Uh, i be more than happy to talk to you as we go about this. Um, yeah. Somehow, Modern Warfare 2 Purple always gets the butt end of the stick. So it looks like uh, there is a sub for the other team on there. Um, I think it, it's Unknown Anonymous is the sub. We're going to check real quick. No, he was checked in uh, with the original team. Uh, Grizzly, Wavy, James, and Javier. Uh, let's see. Looks like John Wick is the sub, uh, should be the sub for the other team. So, Keaton! I love you too, buddy. Thank you for, for coming in here. I love that what a save emote. That is fantastic. Oh, looks like we're at El Bagra Fortress. Kenny rocking the hurricane. Don't know what that's about. Uh, someone's rocking the knife. And Skipper is going to town on the Y button. And Country uh, rocking pistol. Looks like we might be going for just a slay out, not really a hold. Jading getting one, two kills right off the bat. It is now a 4v1. That's very quick. Esteban looking to get to the last guy. That is round one. We are back in action and moving at an insane amount of speed right now. This is fantastic to see. I really wish it showed. I really wish I got I got to some kills, but uh, yeah, I'm just slow. So we're gonna work on that next time. 
Anyways, switching sides, so now Sagu is going to be uh, defending. And it's weird because the spawn points on this map, if you guys can see on the bottom left side, you have the map, okay? You'll see that A and B are just kind of split more towards the defending side in a, in a weird fashion, but the attacking side is also able to, to get there and, and you know, be super fast in getting the point objective. So, oh, Jaden barely getting inside. Skipper picking up the kill. Jaden drop into bomb carrier. Uh, Jinx over there in top double bedroom. Oh, Kenny using the hurricane to full advantage, getting his kills. And what I mean by it's it's kind of frustrating is like a bomb is closer to what it seems like the attacking side. It's easier for attacking to get onto point than it is for defending. So um, the the simplicity of the map is frustrating because it's like well we should be able to be here, and and really it's not the case. Oh, so I saw him. Nope, Espon taking shots by Grizzly. Grizzly not able to... Oh, he gets the finish! Drawing Country out from the corner, and it looks like Kenny's running around the backside team. He can get a flank on Grizzly. He's looking, 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 looking. Oh, oh he didn't see his head pop up. Oh, there we go. Right there. Kenny dropping the ball, not able to get the kill. Does get some damage. Looks like Country's going to have to pick up one. Kenny flanking the other. He's not pushing it. Country on his own getting shot through the... The Gallows. Can he try to hunt? The other team doesn't have the ball. Looks like no matter what, this should be a win for SAGU. A good round two win. Jonesy. Jonesy, hit us up in the chat. How was that for exciting? I didn't even think I was coming. This is pretty dang wild. Look at that. Good kill. For the second time, shooting this man. Uh, and he finally able to pick it up. Looks like SAGU is now back on the attacking side. Um... There was no entire push. They kind of just seemed like they wanted to slay out. So I wonder if there's an organized idea of, hey, we're going to go A or we're going to go B. We will find out here in three seconds. Let's get this rolling. Can he drop in? Jaden also being dropped. Esteban taking heat from the other side. Country getting a good kill, but now he's got three opposing NEC members on him. Dropping the ball on that one too. Looks like uh, Skipper is the only one left alive. There's two enemies dead. It's a classic 1v2. He takes out one. This makes it an even match. He's just got to wait for his health to regen. Peek an angle and, and hold to it. Now if you can see, Grizzly has to pick Bomb. He's going to, to face Esteban anyways. Looks like he's running around trying to get the flank. Wow, that was almost, almost crazy. Almost wild, man. I thought he was going to drop the ball on this. Grizzly looking, knowing. Fired the amount that he thinks should have worked. Finally gets the, the last shot in there. You guys ever do that? You just pulled the trigger down. And you're like, all right, he's gone. I didn't miss anything. We're good. But you missed one shot. And you're like, oh, no. And then you die. Well, it didn't happen for him. But got to be a little bit more careful when you come into these next rounds. Look like SAGU is going to defend again. 2-1. to one. Still looks like it's within our grasp. Just four wins to go. And this match uh, for game two will be over. We're trying to get pushing on to the outside. Skipper getting a good grenade kill. Jaden getting caught out from top window. Kenny using the hurricane. Trying to bait him out. Make sure they can't do anything. And it looks like the opposing team is kind of just sitting in trucks and art. Kenny catching him. Looks like Esteban hears him up top. Doesn't have anything to act on. Kenny taking shots. Not able to get away from anything. He just has to lay down there. Needs some help from his teammates. Esteban trying to see if he can get a pick. But I think Wavy is still in the second window. Oh, he's coming into single room. Single window. Esteban catches him. Excellent shot by him. Sagu has a 3-1 to one advantage now in this specific round. Country still watching A-bomb. Kenny looks like he's about to be meeting Grizzly. Takes some shots. Doesn't have any fruit from it. Espon trying to catch the runaway. Doesn't see it. Country moving out of position. If they hold down both points and nobody dies, it should be fine. Even if they do have someone die. But it looks like Country... Oh, missing his last shot that it takes. Grizzly trying to get on Bomb to plant... Caught up by Esteban. Excellent hold there by SAGU. We are now up 3 
to one. That freaked me out. It was a little slow there. I almost got ahead of myself. Search and destroy is crazy. It's the game. It's a game mode, really. You have to grind to make sure that you aim correctly. Um, if you're going out and you're trying to do everything that you can, and it's just like not working, most of the time it's because you're nervous and you don't know it. Your hands are shaky for some reason. Your heartbeat is weird. It, it goes into a lot of those little factors that you want to make sure you control. Looks like we have an organized push. Trying to go to A. Jaden looking top green. Wait for the door. Gets one pick. Starts to run away. Oh, this is where you want to watch bottom mark. You make sure that nobody's here before you are. Skipper getting the kill. I missed it. Over on Jinx. Jaden's still trying to hold down just a single side. Has two of them. Gets one. Grizzly is now in a 1v3 situation. May not have what it takes. We got a plant on A. Country watching the backside. Skipper watching Art. And Kenny watching both doors. Uh... There's not a whole lot of faith here that we have for Grizzly to be able to take this. Trying to get some shots. Drops Country. Country not being able to pay attention. Esteban still watching dub steps, but he can't. Sees Grizzly and, and gets the kill. Excellent round for SAGU. Um, Country still not being able to win some of those situations, but uh, it looks like you know Sagu team's covering up for it, so that's not too bad to deal with it to get. You're still winning rounds, even if uh, there's something happening. So... Uh, Still excellent win round win for SAGU. Four to one. Need two more round wins to take this next game. And uh, let's just double check over here. Attack, attack, bell. Combat knives. They don't want me to see their guns. It's okay. It doesn't matter. We'll be okay. Uh, and Skipper going to hold a B. Jaden still making a hard push on truck. Looks like we might be seeing some action from Country and Grizzly. Jaden gets one, looking for a second one, doesn't see anyone on the same level. Kenny, starting to make a flank on uh, Unknown, gets the win. We now have a four, and it's, wow, what a round win. We didn't even catch all the action, we only got a little bit of it. Excellent job again by SAGU, five to one. We got one more round, and this match uh, will be over. SAGU takes the victory. I am a fan of the underdog story, but also I'm the coach, so I kind of want my team to win. Uh, I am very biased towards them. I love these guys. I love all the work they put in, and, and it's fantastic to see that it's uh, bearing fruit here in this situation for Search uh, at this moment. So um, right now, let's look, take, take a look at some of the kills. Esteban is 9-2. Nine, nine, 9 kills, 2 deaths. That's pretty epic and significant in that aspect. God's 74, still a higher frag. Not able to get the final shot there, and, and is getting pushed by three members of SEC, or NEC. Gets one. Gets two. No way he gets the third. He gets the third. Oh my goodness. He's coming out here swinging. What a win and performance by gods right there. Let's see if they get a play of the game. Not even just a final kill. I want to see all three of these again. There's number two. I would have probably ran out here with a knife. Excellent drop shot. May have missed a few, got the job done. A 10 and 4 round by gods. Look at those stats there. 9 and 2, 10 and 4, 4 and 1, 4 and 3. All positive KDs by SAGU. Excellent job uh, by them. And, and the damage output is, is significant and amazing. So uh, that's a good round 2 win. We are now up 2 0, waiting for round number 3. And, and let's go. Uh, let's go and, and just wait on this for a little bit. Um, that was wild. Oh my goodness. They are they are fantastic. So a little bit of backstory for this this purple team. We actually had um, a few issues in getting the right amount of people because some of our athletes were, were had other commitments that they had to take care of and so we like to honor excuse me, that was nasty. That was on stream. My bad. We like to honor the commitments our team has. Um, the, the main idea we have behind it is that hey, we're a family unit. So it's not and it's not like a job place where it's like, we're family, so we're gonna overwork you and make you suffer. No. We are we are family oriented and that means that for us when we see these um, competitions, when we see esports, we don't see it through the lens of we must be number one. Okay, that's obviously a goal. That's, that's how that works. But for us, it looks like uh, control is at El Asilo, by the way. For us, we, we focus on, hey, your relationship with Christ is number one, okay? Second, 
you got to have good grades. You got to make sure that you're you're staying here and doing the work because the only reason you're going to college is so you can get a degree. How do you do that? Pass your classes, do it well. Okay, and then most of the time we have another job that we have to contend with for for scheduling, for doing everything, and then we have ministry. Okay, there's four things right there that I most likely will not step on or step over. Those, those four things have to be taken care of before eSports becomes that priority number five. So, <sighs> Jaden, God, the reason I bring it up because it's an excellent performance last game, but he did such amazing work for this. And and the fact that he is, is coming onto this team and, and being a part of it is such a blessing because he was, was a last-minute pick for, like, the last week, the last day of... Um, recruitment for the ECAC league. So he came in and he's been a great fit for our team ever since. Love having him on the team. All of our guys are fantastic. So uh, just a special shout out to him in that area. So um, we are waiting on uh, this last group, probably some communication between the captains here uh, from uh, Skipper, and I believe, I think Grizzly is the captain. Yeah, Grizzly's captain for uh, New England College. Um, just waiting on, on some of that communication to be done and finalizing some events, and then we should be good to go on uh, game number three. And if Zagu wins this, they wrap it up. I get off stream. You guys get to enjoy your night. Don't have to listen to some guy with a goatee talking to you. So... Um, yeah, for those of you two people who are still here, appreciate you watching. What's what's some questions you have about me or maybe Sagu Esports or something like that? This match is starting in about 10 seconds, but uh, we'll see if we can get some of that taken care of here. And uh, for the match, you will not be able to see me. I just want to make sure you guys get the full view of what you came here for. Looks like Control and SAGU is attacking first, NEC uh, defending, and looks like we're going to see some action right here in the middle. Skipper not seeing anyone coming up to Antenna, not able to act on that. Oh, and we have a draw. Don't know why the game ended. Love to see it, hate to be it. We will figure out what is going on here in about 20 seconds. Let me go be a coach again. All right, so we just got word. I am the problem. It is me. Uh, Kenny, uh, don't run now. Had a visual glitch. Uh, looks like everything was hit by a flash bang for him in every direction constantly. So he's going to restart his system, load back in here in the next few minutes. So uh, we'll put you guys on a brief little pause, and then we will hop right in when this next match is starting.
it takes is a moment Is it faith that you came this far unbroken? If it's destiny, you wrote it Hello guys. Okay, I'm not muted. I am taking over for Wilkie here. Um, my name is Alex slash me too. I play for the Lions team. Now we are going in here with the map three. Purple team is up to oh, remember that. Control is basically a best of five. First to get to three rounds wins. And uh, we're, we're looking good here. We are looking good. We are um, in the driver's seat as one might say. And um, I have complete faith in this. So as we start out, it looks like uh, Sagu Purple is on the attacking side. So when you attack, each each point has three segments. For uh, once you c collect all three segments, um, you capture the point. You have two points A and B, obviously. Okay. With that being said, another really good idea is that you have 30 lives each. Okay. And as Wilkie is coming in, furious that I am casting. I am doing a great job. So as you can see, Gods is getting their top side, which is actually a great way to spawn trap them. Um, and and honestly, we you know Gods is trying to go with the game plan. He gets he gets beamed by the guy coming out of our money, Grizzly. Grizzly is now on point, taking away their progress on A. So whoever has the most ticks, let's say they lose lose round, they go they go two two, right? Whoever has the most ticks. Uh, on at the end of like let's say round five whoever has the most ticks will get defense defense is slightly has an advantage just due to um, you know they can stay back to spawn trap all of that and right there as you can see how fast paced this game is God gets knifed trying to spawn trap them that's just unfortunate timing here and I also apologize I was not uh, moving players at all I, I am unable to move players now we are good. Now we are good. God knows he's around. He's around boxes. He gets a great kill. Now they are stacking A. Now um, let's let's hope let's hope they can get this guy off of A here. And they end up doing that just so. God's is doing a great job of staying alive, slaying out, and securing the point here. Skipper's over here trying to protect the over overlook of God's. See some their their door. He's trying to calm that. Let's see if God's can. God's gets the two piece. What a crack play by God's there. As you can see, don't run down using the FSS Hurricane, which uh, he likes. He likes this gun very much. It's more of a mid range type of gun rather compared to the Baznev, which is another submachine gun. Um, but as you can see, don't run. Don't run now. And Skipper are trying to secure B. Uh, the, as Sagu Purple already secured A. I can see, I can see why Don't Run Now loves this gun, and that comes to a close of round one. Now, Sagu Sagu Purple is just in the driver's seat here. Someone get this man Wilkie on the COD Pro League Caster's Dex. No cap, I will agree with that. Uh, Wilkie, uh, any game really? I feel, I think any game, uh, Wilkie is, is S tier, um, an S tier uh, caster. Now with this, you know, with with the COD scene, slaying isn't everything. Uh, obviously, the more kills, it makes it easier to, uh, it makes it easier to obtain the objective. But being too kill heavy is is a little. You know, not, not in your favor. Skipper is out here holding down B to perfection here. And he slays them all off of B. They keep on spawning back green. As you can see, Grizzly is their top. And Grizzly's putting in some shots to Skipper. Skipper has to back down. Gods is over here protecting A as well. Holding top. He might, he might 
push over there. Is that a stick? It, no, it is not, but he does get the nade kill. Big Country is just locking down Antenna, make sure nobody tries to flank and nobody tries to take, you know, a couple segments off of A. Gipper with the great comms, I'm assuming from Don't Run Now. Getting the comms from him saying, hey, there's one back truck, please look over there. As God's trying to do a little sneaky sneak here. He does see someone's soccer field. He is sitting right behind boxes, but he doesn't turn around. Don't Run Now is trying to hold down. He's, he's pushing Alley here. He's trying to hold hold them from pushing B. It looks like uh, Bravo, Bravo is headed towards A, and Don't Run Now slays them out. No worries about that. Bravo team does have 15 seconds in order uh, to get on point, stop stop the time, hopefully get some captures. Remember, every if they if they collect this all of A, they gain one minute. Every every time you gain a point, uh, it's one minute. So as it goes down to seven, one falls in, gets slayed out. That looks to be it. Actually, number six, number six hops on B. Hopefully, Skipper can get the get the kill here it looks like he is buying enough time and he does get it and that causes the round two to go to sagu purple here sagu purple is playing this to perfection um there is no other way to put it they have been putting in the hours they they They've been putting the, the time in with scrims, rank play, all of the good jazz you need to be prepared playing this game. So, let's hopefully they can put it uh, together for a round three win on the offensive side. We're going to look at look at the SMG duo, which SMG is sub machine gun. Look at the duo, guys, and don't run now. They are putting in work with don't run now using a hurricane, which is... Which is Kind of a medium range gun, like I said before. God is beaming. He almost gets the guy at Antenna. Unfortunately, the Vaznef is not a long range weapon. God is just playing his life, getting info for the rest of his team. As Skipper and Big Country are headed towards B, hopefully to get a couple of seconds. Big Country, I don't know what just happened there. It looked like he was lagging or some type of... Uh, a glitch it looked like but I'm not sure skipper does get the trade and uh, check his PC guys he is he is getting the greatest call outs of all time there as grizzly or skipper and uh, oh we got two on point here we got three and four don't run now and big country on or skipper on point collecting B and they finally secure B all of Bravo's team is on a though so let's hope that Sagu can get uh, a break here is don't run now calls in his streak and kills the kills the player that is antenna so that should be a good break to get country the control of antenna which is vital in this uh in this mode and skipper uses his as well doesn't know where they are he ends up getting nope yeah he gets one uh about a mid everyone just has their streaks that's three back-to-back -back streaks they're just calling it in but somehow we are not hopping on point to gain uh, the uh, the win here. Um, but I respect it, you know. Big Country is just tax sprinting into gunfights, which he's just trying to get information here. Kenny gets the trade with him. We have we have team shots going around. We're killing each other, but you know we have a significant six man advantage with live count. Remember, we do have it's 30 kills for each side. Now, let's hope Skipper can find this guy boxes and top party. They're all pushing the left side. Skipper gets one. And so now it is a 3v4 on point. Don't run now is now playing his life like it. The, the game depends on it. Big Country is doing a great job of holding Antenna, giving the information to the teammates. Now, all Sagu needs to do is hop on point, stack it, and win this game here. And as we have one more, and that is game by Sagu Purple. They 3-0 the team, and they are happy. That's all I have to say. So now Wilkie is back in the chamber, and he will take over for the final communications.
Look at the stats here. 17 and 6 by Don't Run Now. 16 and 8 by Gods. 15 and 10 by Kenny. Looks like SAGU just absolutely outslayed the other team. Excellent job by NEC. Um, thank you guys for competing. As always, it is a privilege to compete uh, at a high level for for collegiate esports. So we thank you for coming out. Um, SAGU, excellent job. You guys did great. So we uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Um, Purple, when you're watching this, make sure you get to this point, and uh, we will see you guys later. Have a blessed night.